remember the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King's life, of course, was cut short by an assassin's bullet outside the Lorraine Motel in downtown Memphis in 1968. And one of the people who stood alongside Dr. King as he was gunned down was a rising figure in the civil rights movement at that time. Decades later, Reverend Jesse Jackson is now battling Parkinson's disease, but that has not stopped his fight to end violence and injustice today. Inside Mount Olive CME Church, the Reverend Jesse Jackson returns to Memphis on the 54th anniversary of the assassination of his friend and civil rights icon, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Reverend Jackson, who was on the balcony when Dr. King was killed, reflected on violence then and now. Later we are consuming violence. We must, we must fight violence. It was a renewed strength and effort. Reverend Jackson speaking one on one with WREG, calling for a stop to gun violence. Move, move down the year from gunshots at home and down the Ukraine war. We're teaching on violence. Our culture teaches violence. He also weighed in on a bill in the Tennessee legislature that would require K through 12 educators to teach students conflict resolution skills. Conflict resolution must be taught in schools. So it should have said emergency reset come the resolution being taught. The more poor poor of our country must promote nonviolence as as well as lifestyle. We become too used to killing. He encouraged people to look for solutions outside of violence. He says the winner of last week's Oscar slap wasn't Will Smith, but it was Chris Rock. The Bacala in California last week, Will Smith and and uh, these are our children and Chris both must reconcile them. But the one of that fight was not Will Smith, it was Chris. Chris by not fighting back, by not cursing, by not trying to deal with embarrassment. He also says those opposed to the nomination of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court are out of touch. The same people who don't want her won Clarence Thomas. This race to the court has no sense of justice. The Reverend Jesse Jackson still seeking justice in Memphis some 54 years later. Reverend Jackson, the founder and president of the Rainbow Push Coalition, also addressed the need to increase voter registration. And he says poverty must be addressed as well and reduced because Jackson says that's another cause or contributor to violence.